So this video is going to talk a little bit about Volcano the Blast Coaster and an interesting little thing that I found while browsing through some of my old video cassettes. So the footage you're seeing right now, I recorded when the European Coaster Club visited King's Dominion on their tour back in 2010. The club was having an ERT or ERS as they call it. So most of you, if not all of you that are watching this video know that Volcano the Blast Coaster the very unique Intamin multi-launch inverted coaster did not open very long for the 2018 season and it was finally removed in 2019. And not only was the coaster removed, the entire volcano slash mountain facade was torn down as well. Now there is no doubt that the ride had its fans. One of the most memorable coaster experiences of my life took place on that ride. My very, very first ride on that in the front row in 1999 resulted in my first ever rollback on a coaster. So yeah, it was quite the shock for a lot of people when that coaster was removed. And with the coaster being so unique, there are many questions about you know how the park came up with that idea. And maybe one piece to that puzzle exists with what I found in an old VHS tape. So back in the 90s, the American coaster enthusiasts used to produce videos of each of their coaster conventions. And while I didn't attend a coaster con until 1997, I always purchased those videotapes. And it really showed the fun of every convention. It, they showed POVs of every ride that they rode for the convention. It was just really well put together. Side note, I've been a proud ACE member since 1992. But one part in particular for CoasterCon 15 at King's Dominion really caught my eye. Let me play the segment I'm talking about. The park's version of the Eiffel Tower stands tall at the end of International Street and also grants an excellent view of the park. From here, one can see all of Smurf Mountain and perhaps themselves envision Ace President Ray Uberoth's dream of a suspended coaster that shoots out of the mountainside. So I found that interesting. Now Volcano, obviously they clipped the top off and made it into a Volcano. The first coaster to really use um, LIMs to launch the train was the Flight of Fear coasters. And little known fact about those coasters is when they were de being designed, one of the options they considered for the launch system was a flywheel launch system. At least that's what it was explained to me by uh, Kings Island many years ago. So the technology didn't really, you know, exist back then. And, you know, Ray probably wasn't talking about, you know, a, a launched coaster. Who knows? I wish Ray was still around because I would be able to ask him, you know, when he came up with that idea. And B&M's inverted coaster was being built in 1992. Intamin came out with their design for an inverted coaster, you know, years later. I'm sure somebody at King's Dominion that has a long history and knows exactly why they put Volcano in would have the correct answer. So as I continue uploading some old vintage stuff, I'm sure I'm going to be finding some more stuff. But until then, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a share, whatever you want. And I will see you on the next video. Until then, take it easy. Thanks for watching.